Hello guys and welcome to episode 4 of Legacy of Flavors. We are here with Nyla. Nyla has literally just gotten back home from the competition and she is extremely happy that she won. But currently right now she is on the phone with Mia and Layla because she has part of the morning to relax. So they are making plans to go to the spa tomorrow morning for a nice relaxing day. Nyla is also going out with Victor and Amy also for drinks that night. And Nyla over here is inviting Mia and Layla as well. So she is just letting them know the plans for tomorrow and she is super excited. They are also congratulating her on the big win because they did see it on the TV since this whole competition is also broadcasted as well. Let's go ahead and have Nyla go to sleep after she is done talking to them. The next day. Good morning, guys. It is Thursday morning and Nyla is eating some breakfast. She slept in for a little bit, so she woke up at about 930 so she got ready and eating breakfast. She is meeting Mia and Layla at the spa at 10. So she is making sure to grab some breakfast and she is definitely trying to finish her pancakes. She has one more serving left in the fridge. So hopefully she'll finish it tomorrow and be able to make something delicious again for herself for breakfast soon coming up. She is done with her breakfast. She is calling Layla and Mia, letting them know that she is heading to the spa and she will meet them there in a few minutes, but they should go ahead and take their time since it is a little bit early. Mia and Layla are saying, all right, they will meet her there. Layla is of course late as usual while Mia is ready. So they are super excited to go to the spa. They go out, they try and go at least once a month. So this is something that they've been waiting for. But Nyla's gonna go ahead and head to the spa. A little later. Here we are at the spa and the girls have made it. They are actually heading in because there is a yoga class going on. So here we are guys, the girls have made it for the yoga class. This is one of their things they do. They are waiting for the instructor to start the yoga course and they are extremely happy they made it on time because they were running late, hint, hint, Layla. But as you can see, everyone's outfit looks absolutely adorable. And and here we are with Layla's. Mia's is very simple, but everybody looks absolutely adorable. Here they are starting out. Here we are, as you can see, Nyla fell while she was trying to do that. But hey, not everyone is going to get everything that they teach in yoga class. Not everything is easy for everyone to do. As I say that, me and Nyla are just about to fall. And it looks like Layla's getting better at this. But I'm going to let them continue their class. The girls are talking about the rest of the plan. They want to grab some lunch before they have to go to the nightclub tonight. They want to make sure they're a little bit full and not completely hungry or else it will just be a bad time for them all at the nightclub they want to make sure they do enough dancing and everything so they're going to head to the restaurant next door for some lunch after they clean up a little bit the girls have just finished cleaning up layla is still for some reason in her row but she is talking to nyla but they are going to go ahead and head to the restaurant next door. Eventually. So here we are back with Layla, Mia, and Nyla. And they are actually, they have decided to grab something from the stand because the, when they went to the restaurant to see how long the wait was, they said the wait was going to be about an hour. They don't have the kind of time to sit at a restaurant for that long. So they're just grabbing something easy from the stand and going to sit together and eat it. So here they are eating. Layla has gone ahead and finished her salad. She finished very quickly. But Nyla's gonna finish her soup while Mia finishes her lobster roll. After everybody's done eating, they have decided that they're gonna head to home to get ready and then head to the club and meet everybody there. So everybody's done eating. Nyla's giving Layla a hug now and saying, I will see you guys soon. She is going to give Mia a hug as well. And she is saying, I will see you guys soon. And they are saying, please wear something nice. I, you know what? Just wear your party outfit. The one that we got for you last time. Just wear that instead. And she's like, all right, guys, I'll go ahead and wear that. So she's going to go ahead and head home and do that and wear some makeup. And I will see you guys when she gets 
to the nightclub. One eternity later. So here we are with everybody has met up at the nightclub. They went a town over, so it took a bit, which is why they had the time at nine o'clock. The sun is going down a little bit, but Nyla has gone up to Victor and saying, Hey Victor, you look absolutely cute. It's nice to see you in a different outfit. Amy looks absolutely amazing. Look at her. It You almost can't even tell that's Amy, but she looks absolutely amazing. And they are saying the same thing about Nyla, saying she looks absolutely great. And she's saying, my friends definitely had an influence in this, guys. You still look great, so why don't we go ahead and head inside and do some dancing and a little bit of drinking. And Victor's going to say, that is perfect. Can you actually go ahead and order Nyla and I a drink? Oh, I will see you in a bit. I just want to ask Nyla a question if that's okay with you and amy is going to go ahead and head in to the nightclub to order something for them so victor has gone ahead and told nyla i know you didn't have to be there for the competition yesterday but they went ahead and announced the competition and i have some ideas but i'm having a little bit of trouble bringing it to light and i would like it if you could help me figure out a little bit of it and i was saying yeah absolutely what do you want me to do and Victor has basically told Nyla, why don't we go ahead and go over to my hometown for a day and I can show you the foods over there. I'm trying to cook one of them, but I'm trying. I'm having a hard time picking one of them. So why don't we go ahead and take a nice day trip to Salvadorada and we can go ahead and taste some amazing food and we can go ahead and pick one and I can make it. Now I was saying that is absolutely a great idea. So Victor is saying I will go ahead and pick you up from your place and we can go ahead and head in my car and head over there. It'll be a little bit of a long ride. So we might have to head out a little bit sooner than usual. So I'll pick you up at 6 a.m. if that's all right. And Nyla's saying, yeah, that's absolutely fine. Why don't we go ahead and head inside and let's go have some fun. Victor and Nyla are heading into the nightclub. They're actually going to go ahead and head to the bar because everybody is going to grab their drinks now. Everyone has come up for their drinks. Victor ordered the first round and I think they're probably only going to have one. Well, they're probably going to have more rounds, but Nyla's only going to grab one for right now since she wants to make sure that she can wake up for her trip tomorrow with Victor. Later that night. Nyla is drinking with Amy. She, they have cheers and they are drinking together. They're waiting for everyone to finish drinking before they head onto the dance floor. Later that same evening. So it looks like their drinks are starting to kick in and Nyla is inviting everyone to the dance floor and it looks like we might only have three Layla is standing literally right there I don't know if she'll join looks like we might have everybody join in on this guys oh my gosh look at them this is absolutely amazing I don't think Layla was able to join in on the dance before they started much much later it looks like it's also hit Mia a little bit I think Mia is only doing like one maybe two but she's definitely getting her dance on next to Victor but then again, Victor did move from his spot to come and stand next to Mia. And Mia feels a little bit like he's kind of in her space, but she's not going to say anything about it. She's just going to let it be. But you can definitely tell the way she's feeling with her emotions a little, but she's going to get through it. It's getting late and Nyla is hugging Amy and saying, I'm going to go ahead and head on out. Victor's going to drop me off. Are you going to go ahead and stay or are you going to go ahead and head with us? And they're going to actually head on together. Soon after. Alright guys, so Nyla has made it back home. She's actually going to head on to sleep. So I'll see you guys really early in the morning. The next morning. Good morning guys. Nyla just got up and she is actually changed. She's heading to the kitchen. After Nyla getting dressed this morning, she is grabbing some pancakes before Victor gets here. Victor should be here any minute. She wants to make sure she's at least eaten something because she doesn't know how long it's going to take them to get to Saba Dorada. So she wants to make sure that she at least gets, she wants to make sure she gets something to eat. Nyla is cleaning up her breakfast and as she's doing so, the doorbell rings and that's going to be none other than Victor at the door. So Nyla told Victor to go ahead and come on in. Victor is saying, sorry Nyla that I'm late, but why don't we go ahead and head on out. So they're going to go ahead and head on out. And I'll see you guys probably in four hours when they get to Salvadorada. Much later. Victor has made it to the town center finally after stopping at his family's. He is a Apologizing to Nyla and saying sorry my family kept us so long, 
But why don't we go ahead and grab something from the lady? I'm going to warn you, she's definitely going to talk a lot because she hasn't seen me in a while. And most of these people haven't, and I'm super sorry. So there's going to be a lot of talking. And she's saying, it's okay, why don't we go ahead and grab some of the delicious food then? I smell some fantastic stuff and can't wait. And Victor is telling her, why don't we start with the Oripa con Poyo and then we can move on to the empanadas after. And she's saying, you lead the way, sir. So they are here and they are about to order it. And the lady said, I do not have the Oripa con Poyo. Why don't you try the Oripa con Perico today? And so... And so Victor is saying that is also very fine and he is going to go ahead and try it. They have both tried it and Nyla is saying, I love the flavors. I'm not sure what is in these, but I definitely love them and would love to know the recipe. But I am definitely thinking this is a good contender, but I haven't tried everything else. So why don't we go ahead and keep going with this food tour that you were taking me on, basically. They definitely both enjoyed it, but they're going to go ahead and grab the empanadas. Nyla is grabbing hers since the lady did call her to come and get hers first. And it looks like Victor's is also ready, so she is going to grab his as well. Here they are trying their second dish. Nyla enjoyed it so much that it's basically halfway gone right as Victor sat down. They were having to deal with a lot of bugs for sure. So Victor is going to say, why don't we go ahead and get some bug spray? I know the people over there behind us sell some, so why don't we grab some? They have both finished and now is asking, so what's next on this food tour? And Victor's saying there's actually one last thing. It's called the Pastel de Palmito and it looks like the lady is calling Nyla for hers. And Victor, when is yours going to be ready? It looks like Victor's is ready to be ordered, so he's going to go ahead and grab his, and they're going to sit down and eat it together. But Victor is saying, after trying all the flavors, you see what my issue is. And then I was saying, I absolutely see what your issue is. I definitely like the empanadas the most, but really it's up to you you've got three very competing dishes that you can pick and either one would be absolutely delicious so whichever one you pick i can't wait to see how you do with it and he is basically saying after trying everything if you had to pick all three which one would you say is your favorite and she is saying definitely the empanadas i finished that so quick i could grab another one and Victor is saying, perfect, that is what I want the judges to basically look forward to. So he is going to go ahead and grab the, he's going to go ahead and do the empanadas, but I think he's running over to the bar area and I'm not sure what he's doing. Victor is saying, Nyla, thank you so much. I wanted to go ahead and order you a drink. Why don't we go ahead and get a drink from here? They have really good drinks and I am getting you one of my favorite ones. So why don't we go ahead and try it? Looks like the bartender is making Nyla her drink, but he made Victor's first and Victor has now downed his drink. Hopefully Nyla gets hers soon. Nyla's drink has finally come on out. She is drinking it and after taking her first sip, Victor is asking, so how does it taste? And Nyla is saying it's definitely different than what I'm used to and I actually like that. I'm gonna go ahead and finish this and what is the plan? for the rest of the day. And Victor is saying, actually, there is nothing else to do. The jungle takes way too long. So I don't think you'd wanna do that today. So that is it. If you don't wanna check out any more for culture, actually they have their own dancing here, but I'm a really bad dancer. So I'm not going to embarrass myself and show you that. But if you are good with everything else, I'm going to go ahead and start the car. And we're gonna head back to my family home, say goodbye, and I will gladly take you home so you have some time to rest for tomorrow and I have a little bit more time to practice. Much, much, much later. It's about eight o'clock and Nyla has just gotten home. She is extremely tired, but she sees some plants and she is of course going to go ahead and get those sold. And she's gonna head inside take a shower and head to bed because she is absolutely tired the following day good morning guys it is saturday morning nyla has gotten up she is getting ready to head to the home chef kitchen even though she's not cooking she wants to see how the competition goes and to see who wins but she is making herself a single serving of a parfait and she is going to eat that before she heads on the bus to head to the kitchen 
to see how the competition goes. That parfait looks absolutely delicious. If you ask me, I do have some overlays for some foods, so it looks absolutely delicious and better compared to the usual one. Nyla has finished her meal. She's heading in to cook. She's going to go ahead and clean up and head for the bus. So Soon after. All right, guys, so Nyla has made it to the Home Chef kitchen. And the other judges and everybody is also here. As you can see, here are the other judges and the other and the other chefs that are competing today are also here. So let's go ahead and see what I have to say about this competition. I hope each chef is ready for today's competition. It is all about cultural. All you have to do is cook a cultural dish or something that is from your childhood, and you just have to explain it to us when you are done cooking. That is pretty simple. You have three hours to cook. May the best chef win. And let's go ahead and start this. Three hours later. Can you move it along? I'm all out of time cards. Time is up and all chefs are finished cooking the meal. Here we are going to start with Amy. So this right here is Amy and Amy's is the Amy's is the Tamago Nigiri and it looks absolutely beautiful. The presentation, beautiful. Everything's beautiful about it. And from Amy's, this is of course from Mount Kamarebi and her backstory to this is that her and her family used to go over there to visit her grandparents when they went on vacation because half of her family is part um, Japanese. So they used to go over there to visit her family and her grandma would make this delicious dish for her. So it's something that is dear, near and dear to her heart, especially when she stayed there over the summers. Moving on to Victor's. Victor's is the Empanadas de Verde and Victor's is actually from Salvadorada. He has family still in Salvadorada as we saw in this episode when he took Nyla but he decided to choose this dish because it was one of the things that was in the town center. It brings back so much memories of his childhood and everything. He misses it a few couple times, but it's just the flavor and everything brings back memories for him. And then last but not least, we have Izzy. Izzy made pasta primavera and she had she is part Italian. The reason she had made this originally is because she this is actually the first dish that she had learned to make with her grandparents when they were uh, when they lived in Italy. So it's something that is close and dear to her heart as well. It looks like all the chefs made something definitely new and dear to their heart, but the judges are going to go ahead and grab some of everybody's and taste it and they will deliberate and see what they think. Later. The judges are done deliberating. They've tasted everybody's food and Genovia Sincere is here to tell us who the winner is. So I'm going to go ahead and let her speak. With all the foods we tried, it was unique. We liked the flavors and everything about it. We liked your backstories and everything that was to it. But there can be only one winner. The winner of this challenge is Victor. The reason we picked Victor's meal is because we seem to think it was the most challenging out of everyone's meals. And also it had a lot of flavors that were new to all of us, all of us judges. And so we were definitely surprised with where he went with this because this took a lot of technique and everything about it with the three hours that we saw. So Victor, congratulations on this challenge and I hope to see more of your meals. And with that, I'm going to go ahead and leave it to you guys. And why don't you guys go ahead and call Nyla in and I will let you guys know what the next challenge is. Five minutes later. Once again, congratulations, Victor, on the winner of this competition. But usually there is immunity, but with this one, we have decided it is time to finally start the competition. So the next competition, we will have actual eliminations. With this competition, we are doing a soup competition. It's getting colder, so pick your best soups and show us what you've got. You are welcome to use whatever soup you want. And we just want creativity. But remember, the winner of that competition will, of course, be safe. And the rest will be cooking in an elimination challenge. The winner of that one is safe. And in between the other two, we will figure out who is leaving. And that is all for right now. Thank you. And I will see you guys on set. So here we are back in the kitchen. And as you guys can see, the judges just left. But Nyla is congratulating Victor on the challenge that he just won and she is super proud of him and she is ex like she's happy that he was able to involve her and she is definitely excited but she's asking him 
So what soup are you going to make? And Victor saying, now that this competition is <laughs> begun, I'm not letting you know any of my secrets. I'm going to pick a soup that's going to wow the judges and I'm going to win. And I was saying, all right, I see where we're going with this. Well, I'm going to go ahead and figure out what soup I'm making. I'm going to go ahead and head home and I'll see you later. But once again, congratulations. Let me go ahead and talk to Amy and let her know that I'm leaving as well. So Nyla is going to try and make her way to talk to Amy, but it looks like Amy and Izzy are talking. Amy does not look happy at all, and I think it might be because Izzy probably said something to her. Nyla is talking to Amy. It looks like Victor wants to make sure that he's she's also okay. But Nyla's asking Amy, what was that about with Izzy? You seem really upset. And Amy saying Izzy just basically wants to try and get all my gears. And she's basically trying to bring me down. She's saying my suit that I was thinking. Because originally I was trying to be friends with her and I was going to tell her my stoop, but she stopped me and said she doesn't want to know anything about my stoop. She's not here to make friends. And she basically bowed mouthed me and said that my food and everything that I'm making is just absolutely <laughs> horrendous and it's a bore and she yawned at it. And I was saying, Nyla is telling you me your food is not a bore at all. Don't trust her. She's going to try and give Amy a hug so that Amy feels a little better about her food. But hopefully it goes well and it looks like she's accepted it and maybe she'll get over it really quickly. But Nyla is telling her she tried her food, her tamago nigiri, and it was actually delicious. And the judges let her try it so she was super excited. And... It was a very close competition between her and Victor, so she should be proud of herself for sure. She should be proud of herself for sure, and Amy saying thank you so much. I'm gonna go ahead and head out. Victor's giving me a ride back to the house. Do you need a ride? And I was saying, actually, no, I'm gonna go ahead and stop at the cemetery to see my mom. It's been a while, so I will see you next time, I guess, on Saturday. And so they are going to hug one more time and go ahead and head on out. A little later. Nyla is here visiting her mother and she is having a chat with her mom and everything is going well. And she is telling her about the soup competition and how she hasn't figured out what soup to make. And she was thinking maybe she should make the... She was thinking maybe she should go ahead and make the squash soup that they had made when they were little. Nyla is telling her mom about the soup and almost as if her mom wants her to make a different soup, she shows up here. As if to almost guide her daughter, Star has come to try and get her daughter to make the soup that they've always made together, the Ahiko soup. And the funniest thing is Nyla made the soup a few days ago and she hadn't thought she would make that soup. The star wants her to make that soup and to believe in herself. She starts thinking the soup is complicated enough that the judges will like it, even though Nyla thinks that soup is oh, very easy. But Star has decided to go ahead and give that soup a try because not every day you actually get almost a huge feeling that your mom is pushing you towards something. So she's definitely very happy about it and it looks like it's getting late. So she's going to go ahead and head home. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I am super excited to find out who wins the next competition and gets immunity in the next challenge and to see how elimination and everything is going to go down but i hope you guys enjoyed this video so much that you consider hitting the subscribe button and the bell icon to get notified when i post new videos love you guys so much bye guys